Hello, everyone. My name is Kara Finstad, and I am part of the Animal and Food Sciences Department of Texas Tech University. Today, we will be talking about piglet nutrition. One of the most important parts of the swine producing industry is the nutrition of the numerous piglets born each year. As you might expect, a sow has an average of 2.3 litters per year. In addition, the average litter size nowadays is around 11.6 and will most likely continue to increase in the future. To be able to reach an output of healthy young piglets like this, nutrition is greatly studied and applied. There are so many factors that go into providing the proper nutrients and components required by the piglets for survival. Today, we will discuss some of those factors and hopefully better understand the dynamics of piglet nutrition. In today's industry, the leading cause of piglet mortality at 42.8% is failure to get milk from the sow. There is a reason that this sow's milk is so important postpartum. When a piglet is born, it doesn't have the immune system or a fully developed digestive system it needs to survive on its own. Coincidentally, the milk that the mother provides within the first 24 hours of birth contains the highest concentrations of nutrients, immunoglobulins, antibodies, digestive enzymes, and growth-promoting and regulatory factors. This particular milk is called colostrum. Therefore, it is important that all of the piglets receive these constituents of the colostrum to be able to survive in their new environment. Continued intake of milk is also important to meet the increasing requirements of the piglets. For about 10 days after birth, the nutrients supplied by the sow's milk will be able to meet the nutrient requirements of the piglets. However, after around day 10, milk supply limits the growth of the piglets. At this time, producers will want to supplement the sow's milk by a management practice called creep feeding. In addition to being a solid diet supplementation, creep feeding also eases the transition to the post-weaning diet that the piglets will soon need. The idea of creep feeding is to feed fresh, palatable ingredients very frequently. The feed should be easily accessible and have available fresh water along with it. An ideal amount of feed is more than 500 grams per piglet. This should provide the necessary nutrition alongside milk to reach optimum growth up until weaning time. All in all, with the proper nutrition, piglets will be ready for the weaning stage as they have had a successful rate of gain as well as having the optimum body weight. They will be better able to handle the stress and the different diets that come with weaning. They will be set up from the beginning to be successful in lean growth and fat deposition instead of using the provided nutrients for only maintenance. Hopefully the piglets have developed the proper immune system and digestive system that is needed to go through weaning. In conclusion, I want to thank you for listening and I hope that you have learned more about piglet nutrition.